Hey guys, Ed here. Welcome back. Uh, guys, this week is going to be something just a little bit different. Um, I had a busy schedule this week and uh, the wife and I had a day off this week together and I took that opportunity to spend it with her. So I didn't really get an update on the Sabra Mini, but this gives me a great opportunity to discuss something else with you if you have an interest in it. Or maybe down the road and in the future you might... Um, have an interest in this if you're going to be doing anything with white and sign models um particularly their photo etch okay um yeah i thought i'd give it a, a you know something i want to discuss you know with their photo etch the good the bad the ugly um so let's go ahead and get right on into it guys let me get things set up and welcome back to models of beer <laughs> Alright guys, uh, this is not going to be a very long video, but I'm going to try to make it as informative as I can. If you are a model builder, and that's, I'm sure you are, you wouldn't be watching this video, uh, especially if you're in the ship building uh, military vehicles, you're probably, at one time or another, are going to be using Photo Etch. And um, there are some very good companies out there, Pontos, um, Edwards, which I've used on my Arizona, and Edwards is my go-to. Um, it seems as though their photo etch is very good quality, and it's a, it's a step cheaper than the Pontos, but Pontos is, um, I guess, the Cadillac of photo etch, right? Um, at one point or another, you might end up having to use uh, white and design photo etch and that's what this video is about okay guys when i started my sober mini i did a search for my photo etch i always do um anything i build i like to go a step above and you know with the details and i don't mind spending the extra dollar because to me it's worth it in the end when you kick back and you look at it and you're like damn check that thing out you know you those extra details make that uh model pop you know whether it's a tank whether it's a ship um airplanes jets whatever you guys are into one time or another you know if you're working with photo etch you're going to be dealing probably with white and design okay and that's what this video like i said is about i just kind of want to point out some things with them the good the bad and the ugly okay um my go-to like i said has always been edwards and when i started when i got my sober mini kit in uh i got a good deal on it on ebay i think i spent about 80 bucks or something like that i don't remember now but it's in my past videos and so it left me a little bit of room for some photo etch um you know something to make the kids just a little bit better so i did my search for the photo etch and edwards did not offer anything for the sober many nor did pontos okay the only person or not person but company out there that offered anything as far as photo etch was a uh, white design okay so I had no choice but to go with Wine and Zine. And I did have some prior experience with Wine and Zine when I did my Arizona, my Trumpeter 1200 scale Arizona. I got the um, anchor chain um, deck plating um, sheets from Wine and Zine. And even then, there was a fit issue. And um, anybody who's done Arizona probably is aware of this already, but if you're not, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now. There is a fit issue with Wine and Zine's. Um, deck plates um, for the anchor chains and it you have to literally cut it in half to and fit it in as two pieces because it does not fit as it's it's cut out of this out of the sprue um, no big deal I mean you can make it work and I did and it to somebody who's looking at the finished model um, they would look at it and, and not see any problem with it like hey you know it's good looking model um, but as you're building it as a builder, you're going to notice these problems, right? So, um, white design. Okay, so I ended up ordering the photo etch for my Sober Mini. And I spent, I don't remember the exact dollar, guys. So I'm just going to say it's, it was over $100 because it was. Um, but I actually ordered two sets, okay? And those two sets came over $100. And 
All right, so there was two sets that I bought. One set uh, was a small set. It's just one sheet, and you can see it inside of there. It's a small sheet of photo etch, and that was strictly for one of the towers. Um, I don't remember if it was which tower it is. There's two towers on the Sabra Mini. I don't remember if this is the aft or the... It doesn't matter. We'll get into that later. But anyways, um, there was this one, and then the bigger one here had two sheets and we're going to look at it better here when I flip this camera around but um when I did my Arizona with the Edwards okay when you order your photo etch and here is the one of the packaging from the Edwards from the Arizona and this one contained like three sheets of photo etch and I think it only cost like forty dollars or something like that okay and um all the packaging that I bought from Edwards contained two, three sheets of photo etch each. And they were nothing more than $40, $50 um, per package, okay? White and Zine, I paid a, over $100 for the two packagings, and it was a total of three sprues. I guess you call them sprues, right? Um, or sheets. Let's call them sheets because they're not really... I, I guess they're sprues. They're not plastic sprues, but they're sprues. And there was only three of them in the over $100 that I spent on those. And the quality was good. I'm not going to complain about the quality. Um, they are nice photo etch. They are, the thickness is nice. Um, they are nice, sharp, detailed um, photo etch sheets. Um, however, my problem with white and sign is in the instructions and i'm going to show you better let's go ahead and get this camera flipped around and let me show you what i'm talking about okay so i guess it's going to be important for me to let you know how i work when i'm building a model and i'm doing photo etch so that you'll understand the problems that i'm having with white and sign okay um what i do prior to building is i will take all my photo etch and I will take the photo wet sheets, such as this, and I will match it to the book instruction. Okay, this is the, the manual, the instruction manual for the Arizona. And what I do is I will go through and mark on each step, you know, throughout the book where I have photo etched to replace certain parts in the instruction sheet so I don't miss anything. For example, in this one here, I put PE6, okay? So that's letting me know that on this step here, on C2, I have photo etch that's going to be going on here someplace. So I will go back and I will go to sheet 6 on my photo etch and I will um, retrieve the pieces that I need for this step, okay? And down here again, that's, um, I had some more stuff here that was on sheet six in my photo etch, um, my Edwards. So when I go through the entire booklet and all my photo etch and I will mark um, all my instructions before I even start building. And that way I know what I have as I'm building. Okay, that way I don't have to keep going back and checking, you know, on each step do I have photo etch for this part. You know, I already have it listed. So with that being said, um, here is some more of the photo etch. Now this is Edwards um, photo etch. Okay, and this is their instruction sheet. And what it does here, let me zoom in a little bit. Now this is kind of important that you know in for the comparison, okay? Um, let me get something to point with. So in here, everything that is in red, it's going to tell you to remove because you have to, you're going to be um, putting photo etch in place of that. Okay, so here we got some red. So in, when you're building, you would be removing this plastic because you have photo etch that's going to be replacing that. Okay, and this is Edward's instructions. So it shows you on each step, okay, it shows you the part. This is F13, and that's going to be F13 in your instruction on the kit that you're working on. And it shows you what piece to remove. And then it shows you, you know, the pieces to replace it with, you know, as you're building. So, and so forth. So with that being said, guys, let's go into 
the problems that I have with Edwards. Okay, let me get this stuff put away. So, this is my uh, my packaging for White and Zine. Okay, this is what you get. Okay, and this is Edwards packaging. Much nicer, right? Um, White and Zine just seems to be like a photo um, copy of instructions. <laughs> so let me show you guys here. Okay, now, like I said, the photo wedge itself is nice. Okay, let me go in and show you the photo wedge. Here is your photo wedge sheet. And it, mine is a little bit bent because of my mailman. I'm not blaming White and Zine for this at all. Let me back out a little bit more. Okay. Um, you can see it's it's nice photo etch, right? Very nice. I have no complaints on the quality of the photo etch. I already took some of the stuff off, guys. We already, um, like the ladder's missing here. So, let's pull out the instruction sheet. Here's where I have my problem. gives you a layout of your of your um, photo at sheet okay and that they are numbered okay you can see that now here's where it gets a little crazy all of these parts that they're showing you they give you a numbered um, of what they are okay four bar main deck railing okay three bar generic railing two bar or must mass i'm sorry platform railing df loop antenna okay it does not show you where it goes there are some places in here as far as the radar goes it shows you where that goes and on this sheet here it shows you some radar but you have a lot of parts here where it does not show you where it goes and it does not show you what you need to remove to get those parts in. Okay? You see what I'm talking about? Three bar solid rail ends. Shore side gangway assembly. It's like, what the hell is that? You know? Um... I need what the problem that I'm having now is I need every little step that I'm going through on my Sabra Mini. I have to refer back to the sheet to see if anything looks familiar as to what I'm working on. It does not show you where any of this goes. Um, this is what you get. It shows you, it, it titles as what each piece is, but it does not show you where on the ship that's going to be going. So, if you don't know what an AK-130 turret front railing is, you have no idea where to put that, okay? Um, if you know where a pop art antenna is, you're good to go. But if you don't, you, you know, your guess is good as mine where a pop art antenna goes. So, yeah, I just, for the amount of money that you spend, and it's almost double of what Edwards and um, charges for their photo etch, and this is an Edwards sheet, okay? Everything in red, they want you to remove, and then everything in blue is what they're giving you, and they're telling you where to put it, okay? Come on, you, got, you know, that's kind of what I would expect from... A photo wedge kit right but this is what you're getting so there we have it that's that's my gripe about um, white and zine and um, like I said the photo well the photo etch itself is is nice it's a it's a nice set but I'm not really happy with the instructions because there is no instructions it gives you a sheet of photo etch and it it names it okay it doesn't tell you where it goes it doesn't tell you what you need to remove if you need to remove anything and it's all up to you you know so what i've been doing i've been just kind of going through step by step when i get to a certain step in my um sober mini build i 
going through the sheet here and I look to see if anything looks familiar. Maybe I can replace it with it. I don't know. So, yeah, there we have it. Let me flip this camera back around, guys. That's what I wanted to show you. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm not hating on White Enzyme, guys. Their photo etch actually is very, very nice. I'm not saying anything bad about the, the, the product itself, the quality of the product. Very, very nice. Um, the problems that I have, like I said, is, is with the instructions. And maybe the way you build, um, maybe it's no problems. Maybe it's a perfect you know set for you. But the way I build, and like I just showed you, where I go step by step, and I you know mark in my instruction booklet as to what I have, you cannot do that with the way White Design lays out their product or their instruction sheets. So, yeah. So in the event that you are ever going to be ordering from White Design, I just want to make this video to make you aware of what you're going to be getting. Um, would this have stopped me from ordering from White Design? Absolutely not. Um, they're the only ones that were offering photo wets for my Sober Mini. And um, like I said, the quality is good. And I'm going to work around the, the problems that I found with their instruction sheet. And I'm going to make it work. Um, it's just going to be a little extra work for me. But I just wanted to put it out there. That way, you know, in the event that somewhere down the road that you are going to be Working with photo etch from um, White Enzyme, at least you'll know what you can expect. So, guys, sorry I was not able to put a update on the Sober Mini build, but I did replace it with this only because of certain situations that happened this week. We'll be right back on track with the Sober Mini build next weekend, I promise you. And everybody, have a great week. I appreciate you guys popping in and checking out this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. Ooh.